Hello lovely people, in this tutorial we are going to look at the differences and the pros and cons between Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. Now we've waited a few months since the release of Lightroom CC because what you get when something is released for the first time is lots of people's opinions. And what we've done is we've waited some time so that we can get the facts, give it a real good test, and bring that to you in this video. Plus, I'm also gonna put them head to head in some editing of images. It's gonna be a great tutorial. Let's get started. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography where we teach you the best in photography education. So in this tutorial, we're gonna compare Lightroom CC with Lightroom Classic, and hopefully you're gonna figure out which one is best for you to use. So a few months back, Adobe launched Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. Now, just to put it in a nutshell, Lightroom Classic is pretty much the same as the old Lightroom that we know and love. Lightroom CC is their mobile version. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you can use Lightroom CC on mobile devices like a laptop, your tablet, your mobile phone, etc. And it syncs to the cloud. So if you use Lightroom CC, you upload your pictures, if you like, to the cloud, and that's where they're held. And the idea is that you can access them pictures, whether you're on your laptop, your tablet, your computer at home, etc. Now the cloud-based storage that they give you currently is only 100 gigabytes. If you want more, you have to pay an extra, I think it's around about 10 US dollars per month, and that will give you up to one terabyte of image space. Now Lightroom CC doesn't have all of the features as Lightroom Classic does. So you can kind of look at it as a scaled down version of the old Lightroom. A Lightroom CC will sync your collections from Lightroom Classic, just like what Lightroom Mobile used to do. So basically Lightroom CC replaces Lightroom Mobile. So Lightroom CC is a bit like an app that you would get for your tablet or your mobile phone and stuff like that. It does work very similar to a lot of the apps out there that you can get already, albeit a bit more advanced. Okay, so now let's put that into practice because it's much better to see it working rather than listening to me waffle on all the time. We're gonna use Lightroom Classic on my PC here, and we're gonna use Lightroom CC on my laptop. This is gonna be my mobile device, if you like. So firstly, let's go into Lightroom Classic and create some collections and start to sync them up. Okay, so we are going to create a collection first, a collection of images so that it then syncs up to the cloud and then comes back down and syncs up to Lightroom CC, which is on my laptop here. So let's go back over to Lightroom here. And in, under my collections, I've got a TSOP tutorials, which I use for all of my tutorials. So in here, I am going to add a new collection, and I'm just gonna call it um, CC Test. That'll do, because we're just testing it out. So I'm gonna create that collection. As you can see, it's come uh, under my collection set here, CC Test. And now I'm just gonna drag some images into it, and I will drag some, let's just drag, let's drag all of these in there. Control and A, click on them drag them into the CC test, and let's go for this one as well. Control all, drag and drop them into the CC test. Now, just for those people that are not too familiar with collections, I haven't copied the pictures, I've just pointed to them, if you like, and made a collection of them. And if I go back here now and click on my collection CC test, you can see that all of them images are now in that collection and they are all still in the collections that 
um, was made previous. So they're not copies, they are just pointing to the original files. Now, up the top here, you can see it saying syncing free photos. So what's currently happening now is them pictures that I dragged into that collection are being synced up into the cloud. Now this is important, it's not the raw file that's being synced, it's a preview of that raw file. The raw file is gonna be kept on my computer here, my PC, because that's where I imported it to. And just make sure before you do this, that when you're on Lightroom Classic on your main PC, that you click on your name if you're signed in to Adobe uh, CC Online. So you click on your name here, and then it should say sync with Lightroom CC. If it doesn't, you will have a little play button here that you press and then that will start the syncing process for you. So make sure that that is on first before you start going into Lightroom CC on your mobile devices, okay? I'm gonna right click on one of these pictures and I'm gonna create a virtual copy so that I can reset all the settings and then take it into Lightroom CC and play with it. And then we can compare the two, okay? So I'm just gonna click on the copy that I've just created there and go into develop. And down here, I'm gonna click reset. Okay, so now that's the original version of this file here. So when I now open up Lightroom CC on my mobile device, i.e. the laptop here, that collection will be synced up in CC so we can see it and work on it further if we want to. Now before I open up Lightroom CC here, I wanna tell you about the online courses that we have over at the schooloffphotography.com. We are professional, fully qualified teachers at the School of Photography, so we don't just show you how to do it, we teach you how to do it. And that's, there's a big difference there. So if you wanna learn photography properly, come over to the schooloffphotography.com where we teach you photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, and loads and loads of other cool stuff. Plus there's loads of freebies over there if you wanna go and check us out and test us out first. Okay, now let's go into Lightroom CC. Okay, so I've now opened up Lightroom CC on the laptop here. And as you can see, it's a much more simpler interface. Now, if I go over to this little icon over here, it will bring up my collections. Now in CC, it calls them albums, as you can see. And in Lightroom Classic, it calls them collections. Why? I don't know, but that's what it does. So the collections that you sync in Classic will come up as albums in CC. So let's go to the one that we just created, which is this one here, CC Test. And as you can see, it's got all of the pictures underneath here that we just synced up. And really, really nice. Now, I just wanna emphasize the fact that it, it has synced up a preview of the images not the actual raw file. The raw file is still on my hard drive on the computer. Now that does come with a few problems and that is that if you zoom in on your picture, it will look slightly pixelated because it's just a preview of the original image. Now you can, on import, enable something called a smart preview. Um, that's a bit involved for me to tell you right now, but you can do that and that will give you a bigger preview so you won't get that pixelation. But do you know what? If it's just a matter of working while you're out and about, the preview thing is all right, to be honest. So now let's just close down the albums over here and then go over to this section here, which is all of your settings. So just click on the settings icons over here, like that, and it will bring up all of the settings. Now let's go back to the one that I reset. So this was the one that I reset on my other computer there on Classic. And as you can see, all of the sliders here are on zero because I reset it. And then if I click on the one that's been adjusted, you can see that it's synced the settings that I put on it in Lightroom Classic over here, 
in CC. Now that's a really cool thing actually. Okay, so now let's go back to the, um, to the normal one, to the reset one. And let's just change a few things about. Just, we're just gonna have a quick play. We're not gonna go into it in any great detail because that's for you to play with. Actually, one thing I will say about Lightroom um, CC is it's a lot easier to use. If you're brand new to Lightroom, this I think is easier to use than the other one. And I'll come back to that in a bit more detail um, just in a few minutes time. But let's have a little play around. So I can change the highlights, let's bring them highlights down like that. Let's lift up the shadows slightly. Let's put in some blacks, give it a bit of contrast. Let's click on the curves, there's a tone curve here. Now if you watch my tutorials, um, you know I love curves. So I'm gonna put in a lovely S curve into my image just to increase the contrast slightly. Let's flick that on and off. So that's with the curve and that's without the curve. That's really cool. Uh, let's go down to color and see what we can do here. Let's up the saturation slightly, up the vibrance. A little bit like that, that's fine, that will do. You can also change it black and white if you want to there. Um, under effects, I'm gonna dehaze it slightly. Oh, that looks lovely in the sky there. Yeah, I'm gonna dehaze it. Um, should I put a vignette on it? Yeah, slight vignette on it, why not? Let's go down to detail. So detail is your sharpening. And let's go to 80 on, I'm gonna type in 80 because it's something that we can check when we go back into Lightroom Classic to see if it's done it properly. So now let's go down to uh, optics so you can remove chromatic aberration there. Um, let's tick that, I like doing that anyway. And geometry there is to straighten up horizon lines and stuff like that, which I don't actually need. Let's go over to the side here, crop and rotate. And again, it looks different to um, Lightroom Classic. I don't like it, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's a bit more basic and a bit more, dare I say, amateurish, but that's what it is. Um, but we can still twist it and we can crop it. So let's just uh, crop it like that. And when you're happy with the crop, just click back on the icon over here and it will apply it for you. Then down here, you've got your healing brush, your paint brush um, tool, and even it even brings up a little um, synopsis of what the tools do, do here. Um, you've got your gradient tool, and there's lots of stuff that you can sit there and click around with, and I'm gonna let you do that in your own time. Um, let's have a quick look at the before and after, which is this little icon down the bottom here. So that's the before, and that's the after there like that. And then what should be happening in the background as you're making all of these changes is that them changes are being synced back up to the cloud, which means that when I open up Lightroom on my desktop PC, Lightroom Classic, them settings that I've just done here on my mobile device, imagine I was in a coffee shop somewhere in the world, I should come back to my PC, open up my PC, and them settings should be there. And that is what we're gonna test now. But just before you do that, over here in the top right hand corner is a little picture of a cloud. If you hover over that cloud, it will say synced and backed up. So just make sure that everything has been synced and backed up before you shut this down and go onto the other computer. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this down now and then we're gonna go and open up this computer. Okay, so now we're back on Lightroom Classic on my desktop PC. Um, it does take a bit of time for it to sort of load in, if you like, so it has to go up to the cloud, sync up there, come back down and sync here, and it's done that now, it took a few minutes. But as you can see, over here now in my settings, in my develop settings, I've got the nice curve there like that. I've got the highlights brought down and the shadows. Basically, everything that I did on Lightroom CC has now been synced to Lightroom Classic over here. And this is where the original RAW file is held. Now, what I do notice is that it's a lot darker on this screen than it is on my laptop screen. 
Now that is something that you really need to take note of. Unless every single one of your screens are calibrated exactly the same, they are going to look different on each screen. Now this screen, my monitor and my desktop PC that we use in the studio is fully calibrated. My laptop, and it's my fault really, um, has not been calibrated yet. It's just reminding me that I've got to do it. Um, and that's why it looks a lot darker on this screen than it does on that screen. Um, so just be careful that all of your mobile devices that you are using have got either a fully calibrated screen or that you're fully aware that they're gonna look slightly different on each screen. And by the way, this is from a Star Wars presets tutorial that I did. I'll put a link to that somewhere there and you can get that tutorial and a free preset. Just go and see that, it's really good. Okay, so what are the pros and cons of Lightroom CC? Well, the pros are, firstly, I think it's a lot easier to use than Lightroom Classic. You can also use it across multiple devices, such as your desktop PC, your laptop, your tablet, your mobile phone, and stuff like that. It syncs your images to the cloud so that you can access them anywhere. And it's a good app for your phone or your tablet. Now, what are the cons? Well, the first one and the biggest one is that you only get currently 100 gigabytes of cloud storage with your Adobe subscription. Now that might seem a lot, 100 gigabytes, but believe me, it's not when you're working with raw files. It's not enough. Now, if you want one terabyte, you're gonna to have to pay an extra $10 a month. And if you want more than that, well, you can see where it's gonna go. Okay, so that's one of the biggest cons to Lightroom CC. Another con is that it doesn't have all of the settings that Lightroom Classic CC has. Now, if you're a professional or you're working on a lot of images all of the time, you're gonna need some of them settings that they've got on Classic. So that's another big con if you are becoming really serious about photography. Now, here's my personal opinion. If you're a learning photographer, it would be easy for me to say, hey, just use the Lightroom CC, it's a lot easier and stuff like that. But actually, I would say learn on Lightroom Classic because it's a lot easier to go from Lightroom Classic to Lightroom CC than the other way round. And eventually, you are going to need to use Lightroom Classic. Now, personally, this is how I will be using it. I will be using my main PC here in the studio as the place where I import all of my photographs and I have, we've got big hard drives and we've got backup drives and the network and stuff like that because we use lots of files as you can imagine. So this is where I'm going to base it and in Lightroom CC is my mobile app if you like, it's exactly what it is, to just have a little play around and show clients your work and there you can adapt images whilst you're sitting with your clients. So it's really good for that kind of thing. Okay, so there is the pros and cons and differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom C CC. Now I really hope that it's helped you out. And if it has, please like the video and put a comment below and tell us what you think of either of these programs. We really love to hear from you. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook if you're watching this on YouTube or on YouTube if you're watching this on Facebook. Plus, we've got a really good Instagram feed. Come and see us over there. Thanks for watching. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.